this video I'm going to show you how to uh, calibrate your tower conductivity and also go over a couple of little troubleshooting uh, helps that you might find handy as you uh, go forward with your controller. So you've got the run screen here of course hit set up run to get into the menu. You want to go into calibration into sensors and now you've got your conductivity, makeup conductivity, pH, ORP, and temperature. These are all the, the uh, sensors you can order on the controller that, that can come with the built-in circuitry. Of course, there's other ways to calibrate a 4 to 20 input, and I'll go over that in a different video. Uh, but for now, we'll, we'll talk about conductivity, uh, pH, and ORP. So you want to go into system conductivity, if that's what you're calibrating. And on this screen, you see two numbers, uh, or two options, uh, calibrate and reset zero. Now calibrate you would go in and that's where we're going to do the calibration. The reset zero option is a form of troubleshooting and, and essentially what that does is that lets you reset the calibration settings and re-show the controller what zero looks like. So when you go in to do a reset zero, and we don't recommend doing this very often, but sometimes, uh, especially if you're, if you're calling us, um, we might have you do this. But you pull the, the sensor out of the water and you dry it off essentially showing it what zero looks like and then you hit enter again. Again we won't do that very often but just so you know that's there. Also on this screen you'll notice this CAL number CAL and right now it's at 0.998. For a cooling tower conductivity sensor that CAL number should be around one. If it starts to climb up and get over five uh, then you may be having a, a probe failure or it may be starting to go out uh, and I'll explain what that is but basically it's a ratio of, of what known voltage that we're getting back versus what we think uh, the controller thinks the conductivity should be so when you go in to calibrate you get this pop-up box and up here it's showing all zeros because I have nothing connected to it up here will actually show you what your current conductivity reading is and then you'll notice this A slash D reading. Now this is important, this helps out a lot with troubleshooting. If you call us with a calibration issue, we'll probably ask you what that number is. And the reason is that is a raw voltage reading that we get back from the sensor. If you think about a conductivity sensor as a voltmeter uh, that you're putting in the water, we put that in the water, we send a known voltage out, it shoots across the water and we receive it back on the second tip of the sensor we know how much we're getting back, uh, how much voltage we get back, we can translate that into conductivity. Well, if you go in to calibrate, say your conductivity reading is really high, but your handheld tester is reading low, when you come in to calibrate, this A to D number will give you an idea of what actual voltage you're getting back from the sensor. And that's a number we can't change or calibrate, so it's kind of a steady, uh, number and that range can go from zero to th over 32,000 um, and that correlates again with conductivity so zero A to D equals zero zero conductivity it's not a direct correlation as it gets higher but it is good to know if you come in and you're supposed to be reading 100 micromos but your A to D is over 20,000 we're getting some extra voltage back on that sensor so just just a little tidbit of information if you call us with problems uh, as you get to know your controller, you'll get to know what that A to D should be. And if you come in one day and it's out of calibration, you can go in and look and see. Uh, another one is if the sensor gets disconnected totally and your A to D is zero, but you're supposed to be reading something, uh, that's a good way to know if your sensor's been disconnected. So just to calibrate, you would again just put, put in whatever number you wanted to calibrate to and hit enter. same for pH except pH has a two-point calibration option but essentially the same screen you see here this actually has a live reading with a live A to D so it's a high A to D and it's a high pH if this was really low and that was really high something's wrong in the form of zero calibration that we do uh, conductivity pH has an ability to be default cald uh, back to its factory center and that doesn't actually require the sensor being removed 
calibration of conductivity uh, and pH ORP makeup for your XS, uh, SS or Megatron controller. Again, if you have any questions, you run into any issues, please call us at 1-800-743-7431 and our customer service department will be happy to help you. Thank you again.